It's a... Shh, shh. Madam, we were wondering if you could tell us... I don't talk to hooligans! On a very friendly sort. That... that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to... Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. Mystery. Who are you? Sonny Crockett. That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? You interviewed me once, back when you were young. Listen, Sonny, I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past, because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Again, your old friend. How do I know you? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. I brought you these algae cakes. Wait there! Not bad! You got anything else for me? You've got a nice cactus here. You him, him, ho, oh, him, him, ho. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. Yes, Edna. It's me. It is! It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! Emmett! Oh. How did I get so turned around? 
Have I been dreaming? Or, or stay there? It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Schnookums. Uh, 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 <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh... What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And... Here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh... I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected at... Oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Can't you move a little faster, Danny? He'll never catch me in this car. It's about to do something unbelievable. I'm being transported! Where? Back! Back! To the past! What do you see? Hill Valley! But it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by- I know, Doc. We met him in 1885, remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. 
Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. Looks like a Strickland to me. Like my little brother, perhaps, but not like my grandfather. Grandfather was much more uh, shaggy. 